just don't want to apologise for that in the, in the first instance because that's definitely not me. Obviously one of the biggest remarks I made was about the One Direction thing. But, and a lot of self-protection I suppose in that moment more than anything. The rest of the boys are really stuck by me and when, when I needed them most they you know kind of came to the rescue. Even Zane as well, which is why you know I, I did send him a little thank you on, on, online actually. It came across really big headed didn't it? Wow. It was hard for me to watch back. I think in those moments when you make these videos you don't realise the impact that your words might have on other people. I mean you know looking back on it the whole podcast was let's say a big a big L and not in the Liam kind. In fact, it's probably one of those life-changing moments that, that saved my life in a way and without it, I wouldn't have, you know, I went through a lot, don't get me wrong, but to actually arrive where I am here today and where I hope we're gonna go forward together, it could be one of those makers or breakers. It was tough to read some of the stuff online. I think thick skin's quite fake. No matter what you read, it still, it still hurts. And you know, like I said, a lot of it was warranted from just people trying to protect the people their fans are, the people they love and care about, so that's absolutely fine. On cancel culture and things like that, I think cancel culture, funny enough, I think it has a wrong name in a way because we're always looking for people to change in those moments. We're not looking to completely ostracize them from from anything. In the spirit of that, that's why I'm kind of back here today to show that I, you know, I do think differently now and, and I have had a lot of time to kind of recollect over those moments. The podcast was a whole hour, we could spend all day talking about that, but I suppose you guys have seen enough of it and I've definitely seen enough of it at this point. It was all a bit cringe, wasn't it? After that video was uploaded, I went away for a little bit. I don't know if you noticed. Just to explain that through a little bit, because I definitely want to give a little bit of credit towards the process of doing this as well. I kind of had to go away to kind of get better, let's say. The whole thing up to that point of where it was was just to kind of scramble to stay relevant, let's say. Because, you know, I, I, I kind of got into this position and not that I'm that great, but I absolutely love my life and I love making music now. And that was the most important bit, was going back to the roots of it to find out why it is that I like doing this, why I like making music for you guys. Who am I? What do I actually want to say to you? You know, it's a really privileged position that I'm in right now and I actually want to make use of it. So I kind of came back after that and then I got to join in with Soccer Aid. Now, that was a nervy time because it was right in the thick of when the video had been released, right? And I was getting a lot of hate online. There was death threats. It was all sorts of stuff. My biggest worry was actually stepping off the team bus that day because I was... I was initially sure I was gonna get booed. I'd never really been in that position with you guys before. I kind of ruined that moment for myself. To be honest with you, I just kind of got through the game at that point because it wasn't really about me, let's be honest. It was about saving children around the world and it was a great opportunity. I'm so glad I got to play in it again this year, um, which was much better, I really enjoyed that. I'm so thankful for the guys looking after me and kind of coaching me through that because it was a really tough time to be able to step onto that worldwide stage. You know, it was 80,000 people watching me make a absolute fool of myself trying to play football. And then shortly after that, I got to go to this wonderful place in Louisiana and kind of go and get my head straight. One of the main things that they ask you when you're trying to find out about yourself is like, what are your hobbies? What do you like to do? What do you do for fun? I had no idea. I did not know what to answer for that question. There was a short part of it where I started to draw a little bit and it was actually like kind of the medium, that and, and almost like poetry and, and, and songwriting are my, my two favourite things to do art-wise. I got to meet David Hockney, which was amazing. I got to know him through um, his great... Um, nephew and at the time I remember him saying to me like oh you know you should meet David you'll probably want to draw you I was like well I'll draw him I don't know what possessed me to say I'm gonna draw the I think he's like one of the highest selling artists alive today but I did draw him and this actually gave me a massive leap in confidence because I got a beautiful chance to give it to him and here's a picture of him smiling with it it's actually up now I think in his house one of the coolest moments I'd say of my career so far at least, at least in my art career Jesus art you know kind of gives me a little bit of an escape from things I'd say which is kind of cliche to say isn't it but oh well I was in bad shape up to that point and I was really happy more than anything when I arrived to kind of put a stopper on life and work I didn't have my phone for you know nearly a hundred days I didn't connect with the outside world at all and it was kind of prepping me for that moment upon leaving actually was the hardest point was turning the phone back on if I'm honest with you because it was a little bit scary but it was a nice world to come back out to Every Ever since then, I've just kind of been trying to learn to get to know this new guy. I'm very lucky, thanks to you guys at home, and thanks to this wonderful life that I have, that I had the vehicle to do that, which is music. Time with Bear's been really, really great. Honestly, more than anything, I want to say thank you to, to him and his mom for giving me a little bit of freedom to go and, 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 and get well in that moment, because I had to. There's no point trying to be a dad when you've got nothing to teach, and I don't think up until this point I really had much to to say to him, other than just caring from deeply and loving him very deeply, which obviously are the most important things, but I just kind of feel like I've got more of a grip on life now and everything that was kind of getting away from me, I kind of have got more more of a, of a, of a handle on, let's say. And he's awesome. I mean, he's growing up far too quickly. He actually texted me the other day off his iPad saying, uh, hello, dad, right. You're six, like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I tried to make it jokey because I thought, what, what am I in trouble for now? And then I put, hello, with no H. And the simple response I got back was, um, no, no, it's not hello, it's hello with a H. So he's learning really quickly. He's 
um, far more smart than I think I'll ever be. Yeah, he's uh, he, he's a wonder, but he's he's definitely learning to talk at this moment in time, and uh, it's a lot of fun to be around um, to watch him grow. So actually, after I got back out, that process had worked for me to a certain extent, but also there was still some little bits left that I kind of had to deal with myself. And then coming out and finding people who haven't been through that scenario and trying to like apply what you've learned about people to people just doesn't really work. I mean, the people come on. So I had to go out and uh, I went to Dubai, which was the best thing I ever did. It was at a Hans Zimmer concert with a friend of mine called Umar that I had had my last drink and he was sober and I kind of been watching him for a week. He's a fantastic businessman, wonderful soul and one of the most generous human beings I think I've ever come across. And what kind of happened was I was watching this beautiful symphony, I was having a drink and then I was like, you know what, this just isn't serving me at all, I don't really need this right now. It's the first time I've ever put a drink down and gone, someone asked, yeah, you finished that, I don't need it and I haven't picked one up since, which has almost been six months, which I'm excited about, it's good, it's good to be in this position and then yeah, I definitely don't need those things anymore, the party's over. So yeah, I'm actually going back on stage sooner than you think, I got a little South American tour going on, I mean, I would have never thought this time last year I'd be saying that, but it's quite amazing really. Am I scared? Yes, a little bit, because it's kind of the only bit performing that I haven't road tested in this new frame of mind and not having anything to lean on does is to sound quite daunting, but I'm sure I'll be fine. Those famous last words. Ooh, a little bit of jeopardy. Who doesn't love it? These are all the dates here. Oh. I think overall, Latin America, we've always said in interviews, at least I've always said, I won't speak on behalf of the other boys, is one of the, the craziest places to go to because you guys have got that fiery Latin fan spirit. Well, that's it for this week, guys. Thank you for catching up with me. But it's great to be back. And to be honest with you guys, I don't really know what I want to post. If I'm, you know, who the hell knows what they're doing with this online world anyway. So if you guys want to let me know more of the content that you want to see from me underneath uh, and through various other channels, let me know what, what it is you guys, you guys want to see from me. What do you want from me? No, I'm just kidding. Obviously, we've got like things like TikTok and stuff, which I'm kind of starting off to learn about. Will not start dancing, might start dancing, won't start dancing, will. Yay! Um, obviously, I got to do the content with Nerbet, which was quite fun. And like I said, I could keep going on about what's behind me and the many, 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 many mistakes that I've made up to this point. It definitely humbled me, and I'm hoping from here on out I can kind of make the content that you guys want to see. Please leave some notes below, and um, I'll see you soon.